Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then do hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. और अगर आप हमारे वीडियोस हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमारे दूसरे चैनल इजी स्विंग ट्यूटोरियल्स पर देख सकते हैं चैनल का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में है नाउ विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो फॉर टुडेस प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव टेकन 2.25 मीटर कॉटन फैब्रिक एंड द वेथ ऑफ फैब्रिक इज 44 इंच एंड दिस इज द मेजरमेंट आई एम यूजिंग यू कैन एडजस्ट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट फर्स्टली आई विल कट द फ्रंट पार्ट एंड फॉर दैट आई हैव कट आउट द रिक्वायर्ड लेंथ 36 inch including 1.5 inch for seam allowance from the fabric and I have folded the fabric by half in width this is one fold side now I'll mark the measurements for waist take hip round measurement add ease and divided by 4 in my measurement hip round is 37 inch and I'm adding 3 inch of ease so 37 plus 3 is 40 and dividing it by 4 I get 10 inch so I will mark a point at 10 inch now for crotch divide hip round measurement by 3 and deduct 1 inch out of it in my measurement hip round is 37 inch 37 divided by 3 is around 12 inch and 12 minus 1 is 11 so I will mark a point at 11 inch On this same line, I'll mark half of upper thigh round. That is 11.5 inch in my measurement. Measure and mark center point on this line. This is around 11.5 inch. Half of it will be 5.75 inch. Mark the same point on the bottom ground. On this line, I'll mark bottom ground. Taking this point as center, I'll mark half of bottom ground on this line. I've taken bottom ground 12 inch, so half of it is 6 inch. I've marked 3 inch on both sides. Now join these points with the curve ruler. So marking for front is complete, now I'll cut it. So this is front, now I'll cut the back. Then I've cut out the required length and I've folded the fabric by half in width. Now I'll place front on the back. Back length is 1.5 inch more than the front part which I have taken on the top side. Mark the straight line upwards from the front crotch. Add 2 inch more to the crotch width. And increase bottom round by 1.25 inch. This side will remain same as front. So this is the marking for back. Now I'll cut it. So with this cutting is complete. Now I'll stitch it. I'll cut belt after stitching this bottom part. For stitching, join front and back right sides together. And make a stitch on this side. If you are adding slit, just mark tuck on the starting point of the slit. 
I have marked tuck on the starting point of the slit. Now I'll start stitching from this point to the top. So I made a side stitch. Now I'll finish the slit. Now I'll finish the slit. I have folded and ironed the seam allowance. And now I'll make a stitch on the inner edge. So I have stitched the bottom round. Now I'll stitch the inner leg. So one leg is complete. Similarly, I'll finish the other leg. So I have prepared both legs. Now turn one side inside out. Now insert right side into the wrong side. Now I'll make a stitch on the crotch. So I made a stitch, now I'll overlock it. So I have stitched the bottom part, now I'll attach the belt. I have taken length slightly more than the pant waist and weight of belt depends on the elastic. So I'll be using 1 inch wide elastic. Double the elastic width that is 2 inch and add around 1 or 1.5 inch for seam allowance and for elastic I'll take 1 inch less than the waist measurement like in my measurement waist round is 28 inch so I'll take elastic 27 inch but you need to overlap and make a stitch so I'll add half inch to it for seam allowance so I'll cut 27.5 inch elastic I've cut belt in two pieces so I have stitched the joint and I've also folded and ironed the seam allowance on one side now place right side of belt on the wrong side of back. I'll just leave extra fabric here because I need to make joint and I'll trim the excess fabric later. So I made a stitch. Now keep the seam allowance direction towards the belt and iron it. And then I'll just fold it like this. And I'll make a top stitch. So I have attached the belt and I have left around 1 inch to insert the elastic. So I have inserted the elastic. 
now just overlap it and make a stitch to secure it now stretch the elastic like this and close the space left for elastic so i made a stitch now i'll make few stitches on the elastic it will uh, distribute gathers equally and it will also uh, keep the elastic in one place. 